I'm going to tell you guys the story about Texan auto cars. So we were working with Texas mm -hmm. auto cars for like about um, probably six months, maybe, maybe six to eight months. And we, the guy that signed up was a lawyer and he owned this dealership and the dealership was completely separate from uh, his operation. So he hired us and basically we were running leads for him. We were sending him like a hundred to 200 leads a month and they weren't closing any deals or they said they weren't, but the general manager wasn't in contact with us. The marketing people weren't in touch with us. The sales people weren't in touch with us. They weren't using the CRM. They didn't answer our calls. Mm -hmm. So then what happened was there was this guy, Tony, that was actually working with the owner of the dealership and the owner of the dealership said, Hey, Tony, can you help us with this program a little bit? Look it over. And so the owner started asking the salespeople like, Hey, I'm spending this money with shift. How many cars are you selling? And they're like, Oh, the leads are bad. All the leads are bad. This kind of thing. And, uh, and so Tony, Tony got the suspicion that maybe that they were not giving us the right. He said that they were, they were giving us a, a unfair shakedown. He said that it, that he felt like the salespeople were were not giving an accurate representation. So he started paying attention, um, working in this dealership, and he noticed that they were only following up with maybe one out of twenty, and they would follow up maybe in like a day, and they then they would just say all the leads are bad because they were lazy. And this is Tony's words, not mine. He said that the salespeople had just gotten lazy. They didn't want to change anything. They didn't want to work the leads. So Tony started working the leads himself. He started turning them into credit apps. He started selling cars off of them and um, he, he tried to keep us going for a long time. We had great connection with Tony. He loved what we did. He left us a five-star Google review and then the dealership ended up cutting us off anyways, because salespeople didn't want to work the leads. They didn't want the opportunity. So what ended up happening to Texan cars, they closed down. They're no longer in business. So like they had something that was bringing them leads. They had something that was bringing them sales and they ended up closing down. And of course, you know, I, we always look at the system and we're like, well, maybe this isn't working. What's going on here? Um, when in reality, it's like you have to look at the individual system uh, that the client's operating under and how things work. You know, so um, that's the story of Texan Autos and how they're one of their kind of like marketing vendors, which, which was Tony and a friend of the owner actually sniffed mm -hmm. out the BS and saw that the salespeople were basically lying to the owner saying it wasn't good. And he said that this is the biggest dilemma that we have to face as an agency is if the salespeople aren't good, the service won't work. And that's what mm -hmm. we're facing yes. right now, majorly. Yeah. yeah.